What is up guys? This is going to be a guide on getting Burp Suite up, running and proxying traffic from a web server. So if you don't know already, Burp Suite is considered a proxy and what it does is intercept traffic between a website and the user in both directions and allow us to inspect the various HTTP requests that are going into the web app and also coming out of the web app. We can then do things like tamper with those HTTP requests for the purpose of penetration testing a web app. So first thing we're going to do is fire up Burp Suite. This is a fresh install of Black Arts Linux. The only thing that we've done is updated it via the command line. But what you see is roughly how Burp Suite should behave out of the box, depending on the moment in time that you do this. Now, the first thing we do is get an interesting message regarding JRE. We're going to ignore this for now. It shouldn't affect whether Burp Suite actually runs. So the next thing is Burp asks us if we want to update. And my understanding of this is the version of Burp Suite that's available via the Pac-Man package manager is not quite in sync with the version that you can download from the site. But for the most part, I'm just going to ignore this message. Burp Suite's going to be perfectly functional. So we won't choose update now. We'll just click close. We'll choose temporary project because our main objective here is just to get Burp Suite proxying traffic. And we'll just choose to use the Burp default for configuration. If we head to the proxy tab, we'll see there is an options tab and we have this section proxy listeners. And here we can specify which port Burp Suite is going to be listening on. And you can see at the moment it's listening on localhost, that is 127.0.0.1, and it's port 8080. So we need to now configure our browser to route traffic via that port. In other words, when we send a HTTP request from our browser, rather than that request going straight to the website, it's actually going to hit localhost at port 8080, which is where Burp Suite is going to be running. Burp Suite will then receive that HTTP request and it will forward it, if we tell it to, to the website that we're connecting with. That website will then reply to Burp. Burp will then forward that response to our browser. So essentially Burp Suite is going to be acting like a man in the middle for all of our HTTP requests to the web server and all of the subsequent responses. In order to do that, we need to configure our browser. So let's fire up Firefox. We'll head into settings and under general settings, if you scroll to the bottom, we'll see network settings. Configure how Firefox connects to the internet and we can set up a manual proxy configuration. And here we can specify localhost. We know it should be 127.0.0.1, port 8080. And we can do the same thing for HTTPS traffic as well. We'll get to that shortly. Let's just start with HTTP traffic. HTTPS is going to be a little bit more complicated because it's going to make use of a certificate. So let's just set up the proxy for regular HTTP. And if we have a look at our proxy, you can see at the moment that intercept is turned off. Now it will still proxy the traffic, but it's not going to prevent the request from heading straight to the web server. So for now, if we turn intercept on and let's visit a website using the HTTP protocol, let's go to www.zenshell.ninja. And you can see at the moment it's taking a while to load. And that's because the request has not reached the web server and it's been intercepted. What we see right now is a different request. So we can forward that. And if we keep forwarding these requests, eventually we're going to see the request that we've made to zenshell.ninja. If we forward that, then we see our page load up. Now we'd only use intercept if we didn't want our request to reach the server. In most cases, we might leave intercept off and head to the target tab and any pages that we visit on the site that we're proxying to will see captured in Burp Suite. So for example, we've made a get request to the homepage of the site. Here is our HTTP request that went through the Burp proxy. And here is the response that Burp Suite captured on the way back. Now here's one of the problems. If I close Burp Suite, 
And remember that our web browser is sending all traffic to Burp Suite. So we close it. It's no longer running on localhost port 8080, but our browser doesn't know that. So what is our browser going to do? It's going to continue trying to send traffic to that listener, Burp Suite, on port 8080, but Burp Suite's no longer running. So now if we want to go back to using our browser normally, we're going to have to go into settings, we're going to have to go to network settings, and we're going to have to disable our proxy. Now, if you feel like doing that every time, that's fine. Another thing that you could do is have a browser that you use specifically for pen testing and leave that proxy set up. But there's an even more convenient solution, and it makes use of a browser add-on known as Foxy Proxy. We're going to grab that right now from the store. So we'll go to more tools, extensions for developers. So we get to this Firefox browser add-ons page. Let's search for Foxy Proxy. Foxy Proxy Basic. It says here Foxy Proxy Basic is a simple on-off proxy switcher. Okay, let's grab that. Let's add it to our browser. Add to Firefox. We'll agree to allow it to control our browser. Now it's been added. We need to configure this extension now. In fact, if we just click on it and choose options, we can set up proxies. So we're going to add a new proxy and we'll just call this Burp Suite. And we know it's HTTP at the moment, although we will think about HTTPS a little bit later on. Proxy IP address, that's localhost 127.0.0.1, port 8080, and we'll just choose save. And we have the ability to toggle that on and off. One thing we will do now is just disable the settings in Burp Suite. So let's just choose use system proxy settings, which will see default setting for Firefox. And now if we have a look at Foxy Proxy, we can turn Burp Suite on and off. So with a simple click, we can tell a browser, yes, please proxy traffic through port 8080 or turn off and behave like a regular browser. So if we try and visit our site, it will work because it's not being proxied. If we turn it on and try and visit our site, it's not going to work because it's trying to proxy traffic through Burp. Burp's not running at the moment. So let's fire up Burp again. We'll choose the same settings as before. Temporary project, use Burp defaults. Burp's going to immediately start listening on port 8080 as soon as it's fired up. And we'll confirm that because we'll be able to access our site because now port 8080 will start responding and forwarding that traffic to the actual web server. So Burp is open. Let's retry visiting our site. It's now working. Traffic is being proxied through Burp. Now, of course, in the modern era, it's fairly common to not use HTTP because it's more secure to use HTTPS. Now at the moment, well, it's simply not going to work. And that's because HTTPS uses a security certificate. So what usually happens when we connect directly to a web page via HTTPS, that web page is going to return the corresponding certificate to prove that it is in fact the website that it claims that it's going to be. Then if that certificate is verified, we can successfully connect to the site. But here's the thing, we are not connecting to the site. It's actually Burp Suite that's connecting to the site. We are connecting to Burp Suite. And since we're now connecting to Burp Suite via HTTPS, our browser wants to see a valid certificate from Burp Suite that it trusts. Problem is that our browser doesn't know yet that it's allowed to trust Burp Suite. So this is why we get this security error message from our browser. So what we need to do is we need to install Burp's certificate in Firefox so that it knows it can trust Burp. And if we have the Burp proxy running, which we do at the moment, there's a very straightforward way of doing this. And it's simply to visit HTTP Burp Suite. And if we look in the top right, we have this option to grab the CA certificate. So let's do that. We'll download that. That's going to be in our downloads directory. And we simply need to give that certificate to Firefox. So let's go back to settings. We'll go to the privacy and security tab. Keep in mind that these configuration menus can change from time to time, sometimes the layout changes, but we're still essentially looking for the same thing. You might try and achieve the same thing using Chrome or some other browser. 
these same settings will be there. They might just be in a slightly different place. So we're heading to privacy and security. We're interested in finding configuration options for certificates. So we have this section here, security, talks about certificates. We can view certificates that the browser is already trusting and we can import the certificate that we've downloaded. Now we know it's in the download section. Let's choose open. So it says here, you've been asked to trust a new certificate authority. Do you want to trust Portswigger CA for the following purposes? Um, we'll just choose both options that we agree with. And we can have a look at the certificate if we want to, but you can trust the certificate if you've got it from the right place. Let's go to OK. So now that's imported, let's retry visiting a HTTPS site. And notice we go straight through in this case. Once again, if we have a look at the target tab in Burp, we can see our original requests via the HTTP protocol, but also we can see here HTTPS. And if we have a look at our request, we can see the request and the response that was sent over HTTPS. Notice as well in the top left of our browser, we always have, could be a padlock or some other icon here, depending on the browser that gives us information about the security certificates. It says here, connection secure. We click here, we can see information regarding the certificates. So what's happening here is Mozilla doesn't trust Portswigger, the guys who make Burp Suite by default. That's why we had to add the certificate. We get this message, Mozilla does not recognize this certificate issuer. It may have been added from your operating system or by an administrator. So some certificates are trusted by default, but Burp Suite is not one of them, perhaps for obvious reasons. We don't want to be having our traffic proxied without knowing from our browser. But in this case, we're not too worried about this message because we are the ones that told Firefox that it can trust this particular proxy or this particular certificate authority. Now, if we want to get back to regular browser usage, so for example, right now, if we close Burp Suite and we try and revisit this site, it's not going to work because there's nothing running at port 8080. All we need to do now is head up to the top right with Foxy Proxy, choose turn off, refresh the page. Now we're no longer proxying traffic through Burp Suite. Okay, that's pretty much it for getting up and running with Burp Suite. Of course, we're just scratching the surface. There is a huge amount that you can do with Burp Suite, but of course the first step is getting everything up and running and proxying web traffic. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this short guide. Thanks very much for watching, guys.